Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today, what we're gonna do is throw line. A few different ways on how to throw it up into, into the tree and then perform it. Let's get to it. One of the best ways to throw into the tree is having skills on the throw line. So the throw line is um, a, a thin line and a, and a shot bag. Now some guys are really awesome at this. They can go up to, I'd say some guys can hit 80 feet with, by throwing it with their arm. They also have mechanical things you can do, but today we're just going to show a few different ways on how to throw in with your hands. So um, when you're doing this, there's some people prefer to use one hand. And that's a real good way to do it. Um, with one hand, you got to remember you're trying to have a good stance. You square your body. And when you're throwing, you want to make sure you don't twist your wrist and you don't like arc your arm. You want to have it almost like in bowling, how some people will bowl and they'll throw it. If you, you twist your arm, then your, um, your ball will go the wrong way. So in throwing this, that's um, something that you got to consider. Now in throwing one with one hand, there's a few things you can do to set it up. Some people will get a, a slip knot and um, what they'll do, that slip knot's just meant to hold. You got that little tiny knot here. So you will hold this little knot, you'll, you'll grab your line and you'll have a few different, you know, back and forth. You let your bag get some weight or some momentum and then you throw. Once it goes over, now you pull the slip knot out. Um, for me, uh, I don't really like to just use a single thin line. I like to throw a bite inside the ring. And with that, now I'll grab the whole string in this way. So for me, now I got a little bit more to hold on to. Now you can have, and with this, <clears throat> and even with the slip knot, you'll have a, um, you'll create the length that you want. Now, with a, a longer length, so say I wanted to throw really, really high, now I might get a big length of rope. So I can use that full momentum of the, the bag. So the closer you are, you know, less momentum. A longer um, length of line where your hand's gripping can give you a little bit more momentum and possibly get you higher. So that's, that's one way. And then, I mean, this is usually with one hand. Now there's another way to do it. I've known it as the pendulum technique. The pendulum technique is where you'll throw a bite through, just like you, I did with the other. And then what you do is now it's gonna be like a granny shot in basketball. Where you do is you would, you get your, your thumbs together, you try to make it equal, right? So it's like a triangle, right? You'll, you'll do um, like you were doing a granny shot. Now what's good about this, if your length is right, wherever you throw in front of you, it's more likely gonna travel, right? So then what you gotta think about is the time to let go. Now you can also make the length of this pretty high too. I mean, it's pretty long. And at the same time now, you want to, um, when you do it, you wanna have the right length. I'm gonna move this way a little so I can show it. So you have a little bit more length. Now, sometimes it's pretty accurate because it, it gives you like the center this way and then you just worry about um, when to let go. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do it single handed and we're throwing it at about a 50 foot throw. All right. So I'm, I'm going to attempt to throw it with a single hand at a 50 foot throw. Um, I also wanted to mention if you have a throw bag, it's good to keep your, your, your throw line in the bag so say if you do multiple throws um so after you after you throw if you just leave it on the ground there's tiny little twigs could, that can mess your throw up you can knot your line and you'd be in for a big mess so even though you miss it's a good idea to throw it right back in your bag if you don't have a bag some people use like a tarp it's better to put it back on there instead of just leaving it on the ground where tiny little twigs can um, mess you up knot your line up and then you'll be messing with it for like 15 minutes or so. So I'll get prepared. I'll throw my line in. 
Now it's it's a 50 foot, so I'm gonna go kind of long length. Get all set, prepared. Now I'm trying to have my body facing the tree and to the crotch that I want. The important part is when I let go. It's like, I gotta figure out the best time to let go. There we go. Sunk it, perfect. So that's with a one-handed throw. And then of course what you would do, you'll wanna bring it up. That one's a simple one because once I put weight on it, what'll happen is it'll come up and right over the branch. And then if I was say using the MRS system, I would just go past this branch here, maybe just here. And then uh, I could have an isolated line. So that's one handed throw. The next one I'm gonna do will be the uh, pendulum technique. Now I'm going to do the pendulum technique. So in the same way, I'll throw a bite through my ring. And now I'll figure out what length I want to use. This is kind of high, so, you know, I'll still do maybe kind of a long length. Now I'm going to, I'll try to have my hands equal. So when I open them, it'll be like a perfect triangle. And now that's my center line. Now that I have that, I'll line up myself with the crotch. <laughs> nice, right over the crotch. The next technique that I'm gonna use is where, um, you know, some guys are really good at it. You, you get your bag just like you're gonna throw it <clears throat> the regular way with your one hand. And then what you'll do is instead of facing the tree, you'll turn around. Now some guys are very good at this and what, what it is is that you get a lot more momentum from here up to the top as long as you know where to let go. I'm not hoping for much. I don't normally would you know do it in this way but uh, I'm hoping at least to get some height. So uh, here we go. Let me see if I can get lined up. Get my line. So once again, this throw line is a really awesome tool for entering a tree. To recap, there's, you know, some guys will use one hand and you can do the slip knot. When you do that slip knot, well, I'm not going to really, you know, to hold it. You need something. I mean, some guys can just grab the, um, the line without a slip knot, but having that little knot, it will help you to hold on to the line. Or you can use that bite through the line. You know, for me, this is a, a better way for myself because I feel like I got more to. Um, then you have the pendulum technique where you, well, you don't want to tangle your line. You got your pendulum technique where you line your hands up. And then you have a, a nice triangle to throw with. Um, and then to, to consider the, the length that, um, that you want to use. You know, if it's a real high throw, um, a longer length is better. If you're going to do something short, you can have a, you know, a small length. And that's, that's really good to use. Um, also, that other technique where you can throw, um, you're facing away from the tree and throw up. I mean, that's a real special technique. And so there's only a handful of guys that I've seen that do it really well. But if you have a high throw, you don't have anything to help you, like a sh uh, big shot it can help you go higher in the tree. Um, that's my take on some of the different ways to use the throw line. I hope you guys enjoyed that video on the throw line. In the description below, we'll have links to some of our other throw line videos. As always, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.